So, Lenny, there's a lot of debate going on these days about the the role of hybrid workflows and all cloud workflows. Um, a lot of people trying to pull back from the cloud because they realize that the expenditure was pretty high, uh, but also a lot of people still getting rid of data centers. So, um, what are the kind of the advantages and disadvantages of going either direction, or maybe a bit of both? Sure. Uh, so, cloud is definitely a great place for a lot of uh, media workflows, but also cloud may not always be the right solution for everyone, right? So let's quickly talk about some of the advantages of the cloud and also discuss uh, some of the potential disadvantages um, of, of using the cloud too. So obvious one is uh, the flexibility and scalability of the cloud where you can scale up resources up and down, uh, you know, for storage and, and processing. Uh, and, uh, you know, obviously if you have a lot of content, you need to process a lot of that content. So the cloud is great, right? Uh, uh, also, uh, when it comes to collaboration and remote workflows, you know, you have people working not only all over the country, but all over the world. So working on the same project simultaneously is, is a great place for the cloud. Um, you know, <clears throat> same, same kind of goes for the cost uh, optimization, especially post COVID uh, for a lot of places, like, like you said, closing down a lot of data centers. Uh, you don't have to uh, spend a lot of uh, uh a lot of money on, on your infrastructure, on your data center. So you don't have to buy a lot of hardware. You can, again, it's, it's, it's all cloud based. So you spin up uh, whatever capacity and workers that you need to do that, that work and spin them down as you don't need it. So it's typically, you know, pay as you go and pay as you grow uh, pro a pricing model. <clears throat> but at the same time, kind of pointing out the potential negatives of that is that it's very unpredictable model. So if you one month you do uh, you know, certain amount of work uh, in, in the cloud and you, you will get one bill, but then you have uh, huge spikes uh, in your in media content processing and delivery and all of a sudden your bill is, is doubled or tripled. And that's kind of the pricing shock some, some of the customers have received when they decided to go all cloud workflows, right? Um, you know, kind of going in the same, uh, same um, scenario for transcoding. Right. Mm. Uh, you load a lot of your content. Obviously, it's great to be able to spin up all your, uh, you know, transcoding uh, farm nodes and, and do all your all your transcoding in the cloud. However, again, putting its content there, uh, doing doing the processing, obviously, it's going to cost quite a bit of money and uh, it's going to be potentially faster than on prem. But again, you, you, you're hitting that cost, then unpredictable cost model. Right. So. This is where potentially a hybrid workload is a better solution for, for something like that, where you will maintain some of your transcode nodes on-prem, as you will see, obviously, in this picture, right? And, uh, and you'll do more along the lines of cloud bursting versus just processing all your, all your content in the cloud. You may do some delivery uh, in the cloud, but again, it may not be perfect for everyone. Again, like I said, if, if it's tons of content, and you have to do that cost analysis between uh, having some of the content living on prem in a hybrid workload was worse versus all the uh, cloud um, cloud end to end workflow. Um, now, uh, getting into disaster recovery scenario and business continuity, that's that's one of those things that's a little bit uh, misunderstood <laughs> by, by, by some customers. It, it, it's always great to have a cloud as your potential DR uh, scenario. Uh, a lot of places, a lot of people use uh, Glacier as a DR, and it's a great as long as they understand it. You kind of put it there and you forget it. You don't treat it as a as a business continuity model, right? Because for two different reasons, uh, obviously it's going to take. If you have a lot of content, it's going to take tons of time, and first time to bite may be really long, especially in Glacier, <laughs> and the cost is going to be tremendous, right? So, so that's 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 something to to consider. And you know, business continuity is one of those things. Are your applications written for on-prem and for the cloud? And if they aren't, then this is definitely something to think about because, again, if you're using the applications for your uh, for your on-prem to do your editing, to do your processing and delivery, and then your on-prem goes away, whether it's a natural disaster or something else, or your hardware failed, now you have to again rely on 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 content that's there and what applications you're going to use to to do a proper true business continuity in the cloud. You have to have a proper uh, infrastructure built on cloud, or you have to think of some other model, whether it's a secondary site where you extend it to, or have applications properly written for both 
on-prem and in the cloud. That makes sense. So yeah, if you're able to take advantage of uh, something like an Equinix or CoreSight or one of those kind of places, you get a little bit best of both worlds, right? You get extreme fast access to the cloud as well as, you know, owning your own data, quote unquote, still somewhat on-prem, right? But Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's, that's, that's one of those, you know, some of those things to definitely consider. There's, as, as I mentioned, there's a lot of great things uh, in the cloud uh, and using the cloud as part of your workflow. But uh, you have to weigh out all the pros and cons, you know, whether you want to go all cloud. Uh, and for some people, it may be a good solution. Uh, but, you know, in my uh, years of, of experience working with different customers, typically a hybrid workflow seems to fit uh, the bill a lot better than, than just a sh straight uh, cloud workflow. Makes a lot of sense.